Muswatul Muslima presents Story Time Sleepers of the Cave Part 1 Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Once upon a time a very very long time ago there was a group of young boys these young boys lived in the time after Nabi Isa alayhi salam came to the world but before our beloved Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam was born These young boys were Romans from the royal family. This means that they came from the land of Rome and their families were the rulers. So they were very rich and powerful and everybody respected them. The king at that time was a man named Taqianus. He was a very evil king. He would force the people to worship idols so they would have big festivals to honor the idols. Also When slaughtering animals to eat, they would not take the name of Allah Ta'ala. Rather, they would take the names of the idols. One day, when there was a big festival and all the people were worshipping the idols, Allah Ta'ala guided these young boys. In their hearts, they realized and understood that worshipping idols is wrong. They realized that the creator of the world and everything in the world is only one Allah. So each of these young boys began to leave the festival one by one without telling anyone what he was thinking. The reason why each boy could not tell anyone that he did not want to worship idols was that if the king heard about it, he would become very angry and would punish the young boy. The first boy came out from the festival and sat under a tree. Then the second boy came out and also sat under the tree until all the young boys had come out and were now sitting under the tree the boys looked at one another and each boy was wondering why the other boys had left the festival and come out finally one of them spoke and told the others the reason that he did not want to worship idols any more when he said this then the other boys said that they felt the same way and that was why they had all left the festival thereafter the young boys promised to help each other and to keep their secret safe so that the king would not learn about them worshiping allah taala and punish them the boys decided that they would assist each other to be pious so they found a small place where they could meet each other in secret and worship allah taala together from this We learn that a Muslim must only worship Allah Taala. We must never say prayers of other religions or worship any other god. Allah Taala alone is our Creator and our God. Also, when people are doing wrong and haram things, then a Muslim must go far away from that place. That is why the young boys in this story went away from the festival when the people were worshiping idols. Also. Muslims must have friends who are pious and who will help them to become good Muslims. When boys are big enough, then they must go to the masjid and perform all the salah. Finally, even if we are still small and young, we can still be pious. We do not have to be old to be pious. In fact, the young person who is pious is very beloved to Allah Taala. Insha Allah. We will continue with the story and what happened to the young boys. The end.